So this is Pixel Mash 2023.3, and what we've added for this release is Sprite Sheet Import. Um, so you can import an animation from a sprite sheet, and it will show up in a single layer with animation frames. So to show you how this works, I'm going to go ahead and load in a sprite sheet, uh, first just as an image, so you can see what it looks like. So let's go in here, we'll pick this guy, do run. So these are animations from PixelFrog, pixelfrog-assets.itch.io. And they have made available a bunch of their old game projects uh, for free for people to play with. So you can go there and check out their projects and play with their sprites like we're doing here. Um, so we've loaded in this guy and it's a, we can see this sprite sheet is uh, arranged horizontally. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, looks like 12 sprites here. So now let's go ahead and import this as an animation. So we're going to go to import sprite sheet. And we're going to pick the same thing, run. And here's our options. So this one's simple. This All we would need to do here is enter 12 because we've got 12 slices and we'd be done. Uh, but just to go over the options here, there's also vertical slices. So if it's arranged top to bottom or if it's in a grid of, say, 4x4, four four, you would just do 4 and by 4 here and you get 16 slices out. Uh, this padding is how much is cropped in from each uh, edge of the sprite. So if there's... A grid, I'll show you in a, an example a little in a little bit, but sometimes there's a grid uh, surrounding the sprites and you want to crop that out, and so that's what the padding is for. But we don't need any here, and you won't usually need, it, need any. And then the advanced controls is for R4 if there's a uh, sprite sheet with multiple animations on it. So if you imagine that this image also had other animations above and below it, and we just wanted to cut this one out, uh, we would start from the upper corner here as our slices area start point, and the lower corner here as our slices area end point, and then just do our regular slicing however we wanted to do it. Um, but for this example, again, it's nice and simple. We just do this. We choose 12 here. We hit OK. Get rid of our original thing. And then let's resize this because we loaded in the original image, so it was uh, super wide. So this is 36 by 30. OK. And I believe this game is running at 16 frames per second. So let's set the frames per second to 16 and hit play. And there's our little animation. So it loaded that sprite sheet into um, a frame here with all the animations keyframed as image keyframes. So that's a simple example. Let's go ahead and look at a messier example just to show you um, in more detail those other steps so let's go ahead and open we don't need to save this we'll switch to sprite sheet examples retro game so here we've got some Mega Man sprites and you can see this sprite sheet is much more complicated and it does have a grid and multiple animations on it let's go ahead and pull out this run animation here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, it's kind of hard to see, but down at the bottom, Pixel Mash shows you what pixel you're on. And so I'm just going to see what pixel this starts at, which looks like 37 and 80. And it goes down to 181 and 116. So from 3780 to 181, 116. So let's go ahead and import Sprite Sheet. From 3780 to 181, 116. So that's again, we're using the advanced controls to cut out our little slices area. And then within that area, it's just four horizontal slices, but there is a grid. So we'll need to do some padding to, to crop that out. So let's just do uh, two pixels each way here, like that, and see how this goes. There we go. Get rid of this. Looks like we got a 32 by 32 sprite. Let's resize this to. Uh, Let's resize it to 64 by 64 just to be safe and just because it might look nicer for the video. There we go. Hit play on that. And there's our little animation. Uh, so that's it for Sprite Sheet Import in Pixel Mash 2023.3. We already have Sprite Sheet Export. And um, again, it exports in the standard way of just simple horizontal sprites. So it's easy to import in again. Um, 
And that's it for this release. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments, and you can download it at neversender.com slash pixelmash, where there's also a free trial. And thanks for watching.